Welcome to this segment of the program. Inuarata Nusahai is my name. And today is the 28th day of December 2022, the last Wednesday of December 2022. And the focus of our conversation this morning is on the topic sustaining your new year resolution. Sustaining your new year resolution. You know, when you make a stance to stop a habit or some things you are doing that is not adding value to your life, or you take a very definite position to start doing some things that will advance your life forward, that is a resolution. That is a resolution. And when you do it at the beginning of a new year, it's a new year resolution. Now, it is very important that you put some things in place not to fail at your new year resolution because that is normally the challenge with so many people out there. You know, they fail at their new year resolution. And, you know, at the, uh, the let's say, one month, two months, three months into the year, before the end of the first quarter of the year, you know, they have already started, uh, you know, going back on their new year resolution. And this can be avoided if you know what to do. Now, there are some things you need to do, you know, to make sure that, you know, you give that uh, resolution decision, that New Year resolution, you know, the necessary uh, support system that will help you to continue to just push at it. And at the end of the day, you know, you are able to take yourself to the next level. This is so important. Uh, probably you, you, you have decided that at the beginning of the coming New Year, this is what you are going to stop doing, you know, which may not be adding value to your life, like I've said. Or this is what you want to start doing that will advance your life forward. Like I said, that is a resolution. And now you have told yourself, I'm going to stop doing X, Y, Z, you know, exhibiting X, Y, Z behavior. Or I'm going to stop doing A, B, C, bad habits. Now, when you make such a statement, that is not yet a resolution. That is just a declaration. What will make it a resolution so that you don't fail at it like so many people do is when you give it a solid base, a solid support base. That is what will bring your resolution, you know, bring it to the point of reality where you give the resolution a solid support base. Now, the question is, how do you give your resolution a solid support base? How do you give your resolution a solid support base so that you don't fail at it? Ask yourself when, ask yourself some questions. So let me put it this way. Hold a personal brainstorming session with yourself. Hold a personal meeting with yourself and ask yourself, for example, you want to stop being an alcoholic. You have been an alcoholic over the years. You ask yourself some very sincere questions like, what value have I been deriving from being an alcoholic? You may discover that there have really been no value. Ask yourself some questions like, is my coming home drunk every now and then making me a good example to my children? Ask yourself, what benefits is my being an alcoholic, what benefit is it adding to my health? Is it of any benefit to my health? Is my being an alcoholic of any value to my finances? Is it depleting my finances or is it increasing my finances? Now you know the answer to these questions. Take it further. Ask yourself again, what do I stand to benefit when I stop being an alcoholic? You also know the answer. How would, how would my stop, how would my stopping, you know, uh, involvement, how, uh, if I stop being an alcoholic, how would it benefit my health? How would it benefit my uh, family? How would it benefit my finances? You know the answers to these questions. Now, it is the answer to these questions that will become your solid base in making sure that you are able to follow through on that resolution. It is your answer to these questions that will take your declaration to stop being an alcoholic 
that will take it into what we call a serious resolution because the answer to these questions now provides a solid base for you to be able to follow through to the very end. This is also important. It is the answer to these questions that you will ask yourself, what is the benefit of my stopping being an alcoholic? What is the, the value I will derive from you know, making a decision not to be involved in it? What will it add to my life? It is those answers and the answers to the consequences of continuing it that will give you the solid support base to be able to follow through on your New Year resolution. There are some other resolutions you may also have. This is the same model that you can engage. You just hold a meeting with yourself and ask yourself since some sincere question, what do I stand to gain if I'm able to follow through on this decision? Now provide yourself the answers. If I am, if I'm unable, what are the consequences? You provide the answers to yourself. And then those answers become the solid support base for you to be able to push yourself forward. This is so important. Those answers will now propel you into action. And what is resolution without action? It is basically nothing. It is an action that will, not bring, that will bring about the difference. This is so important. Then let me also tell you one sincere reality. And the sincere reality is this. When you make a resolution, when you take that definite stance on this is what I want to stop doing or this is what I want to start doing, there is a natural tendency that you are going to face challenges along the line. It will not just be that smooth. It will not just be that easy because you, you have been programmed along a particular line over the years, like the person that wants to stop being an alcoholic. This is what his taste board has been used to. This is what his psychology, his mind has been used to over time, and he wants to stop. It may not be that easy. There might be possible tendency for withdrawal syndrome. You may find yourself falling back into it once a while. Now, don't give up. Don't be discouraged. The way to keep the momentum on is for you to keep reminding yourself the reason you started out on the resolution in the first place. The reason or the reasons. What were my reasons? If I experience this withdrawal syndrome, if I fall back, I remind myself again what were the reasons that made me to start this thing in the first place. That reason will re-energize you again and it will help you keep the momentum and then you are able to just keep on forging ahead on your new year resolution. I believe that lots of value have been added today to your life and you want to reach me. Those are my numbers right there on the screen. The first one is 080-6686-5060. The second one is there as well. It's 080-529-29120. If you are calling from outside Nigeria, just add our beloved country code plus 234 Six six eight six five zero six zero plus two three four eight zero five two nine two nine again one two zero. I'll be seeing you next week Wednesday, which will be the first Wednesday of the new year twenty twenty three. I will not return. I will still remain the amiable Inuagata no Sahai. God bless you. <laughs>